Hey, welcome back everyone, Mike Zero here once again. Today, we are discussing Star Wars Episode 8. Now, before we get to today's subject, I just want to say that if you guys are new to the channel, please do make sure to subscribe if you end up enjoying the content today. Thank you all so much, it is very much appreciated. Now, today we have Criss Cross Media with us. Say hi, Chris. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey. So, we are diving <laughs> into Star Wars Episode 8, and we wanted to look at... Both characters, uh, of course, uh, yeah. Kylo Ren and Obi-Wan mm -hmm. Kenobi and their lightsabers. Yeah, so, I mean, Mike, I, for those who don't know, I'm texting Mike and sometimes we, we'll, we'll stay up late at night and we'll just <laughs> discuss different things. That's you right. Know? Like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if this happened and this happened? Yeah. Um, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi is a character that has been so prevalent within the saga and it just makes sense that he's. I feel. I just have a feeling that he's going to have some sort of role in the sequel trilogy. Um, so we're just kind of speculating one night and kind of had this idea of imagine if his his lightsaber were to reemerge uh, within the story. And we got to think that uh, you know, kind of calling back to our, the other collaborated uh, video that we did about Vader's castle reappearing. That's right. Um, Obi Wan Kenobi fought Darth Vader, and um, when Vader quote unquote killed. Obi-Wan Kenobi, his lightsaber dropped down on the floor along with his cloak, and we can only just assume that Vader took his lightsaber and either put it in his collection or did whatever he want with it, but assuming that Darth Vader's castle were to play some sort of role in Episode 8 or 9, yes. um, I, I guess Vader might have put that in his collection maybe at his castle as maybe a memento, especially because it's back on Mustafar where, for sure, you know, it struck him down, essentially. It's also and, been speculated, um, you know, that in the old EU that he kept it as a trophy. But yeah, keep going, Absolutely. Chris. Yeah, so he kept it as a trophy. And, you know, as our last speculated video said, that maybe Kylo Ren were to go to Vader's castle. And imagine if he sees Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber just sitting there and takes it for his own. Now, I, I don't know if you know that that's going to happen or, or what but then we started saying okay well let's play devil's advocate so let's just say like he he now grabs a lightsaber and it's blue right but yep. you know this doesn't matter he's a bad guy he has a blue lightsaber whatever but imagine then he fights ray and ray has anakin's lightsaber and imagine if they fought once again how awesome would it be on film if Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber and Obi Wan Kenobi's lightsaber once again clashed. Yes, ever since just Revenge like in of Episode the Sith. Three. Yep, absolutely. That would be such an amazing it's... thing if they did that for Star Wars Episode Eight because it would be very reminiscent of that exact battle scene between Kenobi and Anakin. And mm -hmm. there has been speculation as to the snow battle on Starkiller Base between Kylo Ren and Rey. There's a lot of you know similarities to that very given fight scene. In Revenge of the Sith, certain Absolutely. moves and certain angles, you know, used in the film. So I think that Absolutely. when you're looking at Episode Eight, I think that if Kylo Ren were to find Kenobi's Sky Kenobi's uh, lightsaber, and if Rey were to use the Skywalker lightsaber, or even vice versa, if you wanted to switch it around, like, you know, what if uh, Kylo Ren mm -hmm. got a hold of uh, the Skywalker lightsaber? Because we do know that he wants that. He claims it as his. As he said to mm -hmm. Finn, you know, he's like, that lightsaber belongs to me. We do know that he wants mm -hmm. that lightsaber, or at least once owned it. So if he were to gain access to the Skywalker lightsaber and use it in a duel, and if perhaps, you know, Rey got hold of the Kenobi lightsaber, you know, you could also see that as well. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, I'm going to kind of jump around a little bit, because... Yeah. Uh... The, there's Darth Vader's lightsaber as well. Uh, we don't really know what happened to it after the events of Return of the Jedi. Yeah, we so have heard little tidbits that a certain group like buys it or sells it or something like that. Absolutely. Yeah. And, I mean, who knows? What if he were to get his hands on that lightsaber as well? Right. Um, and it would be Anakin Skywalker's, or I should say Luke Skywalker's lightsaber in the hands of Rey, and Darth Vader's old lightsaber in mm -hmm. the hands of Kylo Ren, and those, again, are clashing. Those again. Um, and something yeah. I brought up 
one thing I was just like nerding out and, and brought up to you <laughs> yeah. was uh, when when Ray touched the Skywalker lightsaber, she had a force vision, uh, correct, or force back, or, or there, there's a couple of terms going around with uh, what, what those are called. And the lightsaber called to her. Um, imagine if when Kylo touches Anakin's lightsaber, or if he touches Vader's lightsaber, or mm-hmm. if he touches Obi Wan Kenobi's lightsaber. Will the same thing happen to him? Will he have a force vision? Will That's it a really good doom? question you got there, Chris. If he were to yeah. touch the Skywalker lightsaber or whatever, if Kylo Ren were to do mm-hmm. that, <clears throat> would he have a force vision? Whether it be the Skywalker lightsaber or the Kenobi lightsaber, would he have a force vision? And, you know, absolutely. That's an and interesting I think thought. The, uh, the the concept art and the kind of the idea going around of this uh, Anakin Darth Vader Force Ghost that kind of changes back and forth. Yes, the shape like a, shift and Force like, Ghost. Yep. Absolutely, I, it, it would make sense if he were to to get Vader's uh, lightsaber and he touches it, and that's when Anakin kind of appears and he goes, "Hey." You know, this is what can happen to you. You can yeah. become this monster, and it will consume you, and it will slowly, slowly destroy you. Yeah, it would be a wake-up um, call for Kylo Ren, essentially. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Um, so, I, this is what we're speculating, um, and it would be so cool to see on screen. And it would be, it would be great fan service, but just, it, it would be like a moment where it was like seeing Vader on screen again, but to see his lightsaber in the hands of, of, of Kylo Ren or whoever, it would mean a great deal. But also just to see Kenobi. I mean, part of me really... I, I really, really hope that Kenobi has some sort of role in this new series. Uh, well, sequels. I think he will I, I know, because of what... Yeah? Because if you look at the Force Back Vision sequence, you hear his voice. You and McRitter Absolutely. came in yeah. to record. Yeah. And, uh, you know... We hear that lawn, you know, in front of Ray, you know, Ray, these are your first steps, or these are her first steps, or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. we, there must be some form of significance to that. I don't think they just added that in just for whatever. I think there's definitely a connection between her and Kenobi. I really, really do. I think that there's definitely a reason as to why Lucasfilm and Disney said, listen, we got to get Ewan McGregor in here. And uh, we got to have him record, and we got to put this in the vision sequence. I think there's definitely like a a key part of the force back vision sequence when it comes to his voice, and I think that's going to serve a big purpose in episode eight. That's my belief. Mm-hmm. So, and I mean, Disney is kind of creating this whole web of cohesive storytelling, and every little step that they make and every decision that they do, it, yeah. there's a significance to it. Um, you know, with Rogue One now introducing, uh, not Rogue One, uh, Star Wars Rebels introducing mm-hmm. all these Rogue One characters. And I mean, in Rogue One, they have Vader's castle, like we speculated. I, I honestly believe we're going to see Vader's castle in episode eight or nine. Um, now they just showed a clip for the mid season of Star Wars Rebels, and Obi Wan Kenobi is being brought back. And yeah, he's yeah, be Darth shown Maul to a new him. Gen- yep. Right. Yes, and you know he's in, being introduced to this new generation of kids watching these movies under the Disney tentpole, so it it almost seems like it was done for a reason, and to introduce this character once again to kids or just viewers or just to be hey re- remember Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah, and it would not surprise me if once we get to Episode Eight if there's some sort of Kenobi connection whether that be lightsaber or Force Ghost. Or whatever, um, I do not believe we've seen the last of Obi Wan Kenobi. Absolutely not. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, yeah, I say so. Yeah. So guys, uh, let us know what you think about this below in the comments section. Do you think any of this that we discussed today would happen in Star Wars Episode Eight? Let us know. And if you did end up enjoying the content for today. Uh, Please do make sure to subscribe, and as always, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And yeah, go ahead and check out Criss Cross Media. He's an excellent guy, he makes great content. Link will be below in the description. So yeah, Chris, if you want to say goodbye. Yeah, thanks buddy for having me, and uh, guys, thanks for watching this episode and hearing me ramble about Star Wars. (laughs) uh, Yeah, thanks Mike for having me again. Alright, have a good one guys. Bye.
from night to moon.